Hey, how's everybody doing today? Um, I took a staycation today and um, because of the fall colors up in uh, Northeast Ohio, we get some pretty crazy falls. Um, the colors are popping in areas and um, I'm going to take some pictures. So I brought my camera set up tripod and I'm gonna go hike into the woods and get some pictures of waterfalls and some fall foliage. So let's see how it goes. So I'm hiking in. It gets a little steep and it's been uh, raining so it'll be slick. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I stay upright. I've got enough joint problems as it is but it's a lovely day. Uh, actually, the overcast conditions make it perfect for photography. So rain is what I want, especially because I'm shooting uh, waterfalls. So they'll, that kind of assures that there'll be water running over them. So I'm going to hike in and uh, see what it looks like when we get there. Okay, Blue Hen Falls, one-sixth of a mile. Let's get you a wide view. This is the treacherous part, steep and wet leaves. So I'm gonna pay attention. I can hear them. Love seeing the colored leaves on the ground like this. That means there will be some content for the camera by the waterfalls. What in the blue blazes is that? Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that's a blue blaze. I think that's the Buckeye Trail. It's like 120 miles long or some crazy thing. I was way off. Hey, we got a neat little bridge here. Let me know if you want to see any more of this kind of stuff, too. Um, we got water running. That's a good sign. Because uh, I'll do more of it. I figure this is kind of kind of interesting content. I'm trying to produce some pictures that people will purchase. That's kind of the goal. It makes it makes um, spending the money on all that. Now I've got to pay. I've got to pay for it somehow. And it allows me to get out into the woods and do this. I can hear them. Look at that tree. That one's lit up. Okay, here's the setup. Waterfall number one, blue hen. Pretty loud here, so hard to talk over. There's my camera. Okay, it's just a tiny bit quieter over here. Uh, lots of photographers here, so you got to make sure you're out of other people's shots. But um, of course, it's got the Fuji GFX. 50 uh, S2. I've got my uh, 
stabilization turned off in the lens. I'm using the 45 to 100 GF lens. Uh, but you can see the shot I'm framing up here. About a second and a half or so exposure. I've got a neutral density lens that's also a polarizer. It's a combination neutral density and polarizer. So it will saturate colors. It'll take the sheen off of rocks and uh, leaves and let the color pop. Um, but you see what happens here. I set the timer so that my finger does not vibrate the camera. Always good to do with waterfalls. But see right now you see all the water drops moving. See what happens when you do a long exposure. Silky water effect, it streams, because anything that moves while the shutter's open streaks in the picture. So that's pretty fun. I gotta hit a couple more waterfalls today, so I can't be here too long. I'll have to hike out soon. We got a nice little place to sit up here. Um, overlooking the falls. If you have a bad knee or hip or ankle or anything, a little bit of a treacherous hike to get down here. So um, getting here is okay, although there's a reasonably steep path coming down. Uh, but getting down into the valley to or into the riverbed, it's a whole nother level of difficulty. So just keep that in mind especially when the leaves are wet and it's muddy and slippery. This sign over here says end of trail and they, they pretty much mean it. I mean, there are people that walk this way and you can kind of see a trail to go to Buttermilk Falls. Because there's another waterfall down the river this way. Um, I just told another guy if if you if it was paved you could walk there in five minutes but um since it isn't uh depending on your light conditions and how slippery it is i mean this is this is tough to walk on you know you can slip on any of this um it can be like 45 minutes and then the one time it i, I always seem to be here when it's getting dark <laughs> it got dark on me and it gets really dark under this heavy tree cover um plus there's not many lights city lights around so it gets dark, dark back here. Uh, and I ended up hiking down a ski slope. There's a Boston Mills ski resort back over that way. I had to hike down the hill. Then I come out on this road. You know, I'm walking down a ski hill. It's, it's as steep as they get. Uh, and then I had to go down the road and walk up back to my car, which is way, way, way up the hill over there. So I do not recommend it. I didn't think I'd make it. I was halfway between just stopping and laying on the side of the road or uh, continuing on. It was such a crazy hike up that hill. Well, it just started raining, so this is why I bring a grocery bag with me to cover the camera up. I'll make the hike out and uh, get to the next waterfall. This would be a perfect time to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good one.